What's up guys, Music Elias here today and I'm back with another video. Now today's video we're going to react to Black Veil Bright's song called All Your Hate. Now the last song I really liked, that was my most favorite song on this album. I don't know if this song will top it, but let's see. Uh, also, I did get some, you know, more information from you guys, so thank you guys uh, about the last song, why they did just a purely instrumental one instead of, uh, you know, having him sing on it. Uh, and it was apparently because when Andy made this song, he was 18 and he had a girlfriend who was some like actress and he, he it was to her and stuff. But since then they've broken up and he's been married. And since he's married, you know, he don't want to do it because he thought it was disrespectful or whatever. Personally, I get that, but I feel like he could have still made, you know, uh, still could have sang on it. I know it's gonna be like, well, it's a love song and he's already married, but let's be honest, most of, the, most of these artists that make songs like this, there's a ton of artists that make love songs, but that are already married, or make breakup songs that are still married and a perfectly, you know, relationship, or make songs like, you know, especially with rap, they make songs about, you know, how many women they're sleeping with, but they're married, it's like, really? So, it's just music. In the end of the day, for me, the way I would have took it as is, hey, look, uh, if I was him, I would have told my wife, like, hey, look, this is not personal. This doesn't mean anything else and stuff. It's just a song. I'm just making a love song for, you know, because it's th that's what the original was. And I just want to recreate that. And, you know, this time I'll be thinking about you. Obviously not the whole breakup part because I was in the song too. But, you know, you could have just still made it and just, you know, differentiate between the reality of your life and the song itself. Because most of these songs that people, you know, make... Sometimes, you know, they're personal to what they're going through and they're talking about their, you know, vulnerabilities and stuff. That's cool. But then other times they make songs just to make a fun song. You think, I mean, like a lot of people make love songs. That doesn't mean that they're, you know, uh, just newly in love. They could have been married or whatever. So I just see it as music. So I feel like I understand, but I still think that it's it's kind of a dumb reason to be honest i feel like he could have still just done it uh and it wouldn't matter too much but yeah that's just my personal opinion on that so let's get into the song Um, okay, I think we're a little past what, uh, you know, halfway through the song. Uh, this is starting to feel more like the other parts of the song. Like I said, the last song, The Mortician's Daughter, was a lot different than the rest of the song, you know, album, and it was a quite a bit of a different departure, which I liked, but this one seems more in line with the other songs and, you know, the same style and vibe that, you know, this album has been giving out. Personally, uh, I feel like that this song doesn't seem too unique right now. The instrumentals seem very, you know, it just it just seems like the other ones it doesn't seem that much different and like i said the vocals one of the big problem i have with this uh older album is his vocals do seem a little more monotone and he does seem to be putting as much as emotion into it but then again he was only 18 at this time and you know and everybody has a different journey throughout you know the careers especially music careers not everybody's going to start off you know super talented you know but um yeah it's still this the song for me is not really doing any much it's just seems very uh you know 
basic and even the lyrics nothing about it is really screaming out that oh this is amazing to me uh, if I'm being honest So that was it for Blackville Bright's song called All Your Hate, uh, the, the old version. Personally, I wasn't really a big fan of it. It didn't really catch my attention. The instrumentals were very basic and, you know, repetitive. Like the, when I say repetitive, I mean because this is the same instrumentals they've been playing throughout most of this, uh, you know, album. So it seems kind of repetitive to me uh, at this point. And his voice uh, really didn't give me anything special. The lyrics were very repetitive too. It seemed like a very stagnant, uh, you know, song that didn't change too much. I know I'm kind of judging it harshly. It's just my actual opinions on the song. I just feel like it could have been a lot better. If I'm being honest, it kind of was a disappointing song. It didn't really have much to it. Hopefully the newer version, they do it a lot better because the newer version is better, but these original songs aren't that, uh, some of these original songs aren't that great to begin with. And I know that sounds harsh, but this is still the first album. I'm assuming their next albums are going to be a lot better. Also, I think I forgot to mention uh, some of the new subscribers of mine. I did mention in my last video that, uh, you know, I finished, that I should be dropping out soon. But the problem with that is usually, depending on which, you know, music video or like reaction video I drop, uh, some get different types of views. Some get a lot, some don't get that much. So just in case of that one doesn't get that much, I will say it again. Uh, thank you to uh, uh, Sack uh, True. Uh, 9016, Chris Beersack, and Lots of Calm. So big thank you to all th uh, the three of you guys. Uh, I would I mentioned it already in that one, but like I said, I don't know if that many people watched it. I don't know if you guys watched it. I want you guys to, you know, see me calling you guys out. So yeah, uh, big thank you to you three. Uh, this song was kind of disappointing, but hopefully the newer version uh, fixes uh, the problems as much as it possibly can. So yeah, let's get into that one.
Okay, halfway through this song, uh, it is definitely better than the original. Like I said, the newer version is like a more upgraded version. It's like a 2.0 version. Uh, this one is a lot better. The instrumentals are more heavy. They're more, you know, uh, I, I guess the best way I can describe the instrumentals in this album is it's a more epic version of the original. And his voice, definitely a lot more emphasis in it. There's more emotion. This one has more anger and aggression. There's more of, you know, angst in it. Whereas the last one seemed very, like, uh, it, it seems like a lot of the other songs, he doesn't put too much emotion in it. But this one seems to, uh, you know, have a lot more emotion, especially this song. He has a lot more aggression in uh, the lyrics in this. And you can definitely tell from the tone of, uh, you know, voice while he's singing. So that was Black Will Bright's song called uh, All Your Hate. Uh, the newer version was significantly better than the original. It was far more of an improvement. Like I said, this album is basically a 2.0 version of the original. Uh, the, the drums and the guitar part towards the end, like the drum solo and the guitar solo, were amazing. The guitarist, like I've, I've praised him many times, he is a master when it comes to, you know, playing that instrument and the drums in this were a lot more heavier, they are a lot more fast paced. I really liked it. So yeah, the instrumentals in this were significantly better, um, especially the adding the drum solo and the guitar solo. That was a really great part of uh, this song. But yeah, I still don't think I like this song that much. The newer version was definitely better, but I just I just feel like it's, it's a meh song. It's definitely a fillerish uh, song uh, in this album for me. Uh, the last song was still my favorite and might end up being my favorite song from this album, but uh, who knows. I think the song was, the new version is alright, the old one I'm, I'm just not a fan of, so yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for next time.